No, it's good. Okay. We're gonna let the uh, let everybody hop on board. There's one person, five, eight, twelve. Come on, kids. Everybody's out of school. Europe is going to bed. Chicken emojis galore. I'm back in New York next week. I am. No, I'm not. I'm gonna be in Vegas for uh, Paid by Fame. Don't go to bed yet. I have good news, everybody. So I'm just gonna come on. All right, all right, all right. Give him a ch second. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Are you signing with IMG? All right. So <clears throat> have really good news, and I get to share it with you guys now. Siri wants to try it. Siri doesn't want me to have a good life. Siri doesn't want me to... No, don't apologize on behalf. I need... IMG is the largest agency globally in the world, and they represent the most impactful supermodels that are, are out there. Like, the girls of today, like the Hadid sisters, Bella and Gigi, and icons like Cindy Crawford, and athletes like Tiger Woods, and they represent the big timers, and they really push for stars. Um, and favorites like Lara Stone, um, they are a really, really big deal agency to be um, having on your side. So basically, when I did Cannes Film Festival, I had um, um, some eyeballs watching me from IMG, and I had a meeting with IMG then. Then I had a follow-up interview with IMG in New York, and then when I went to Paris for Fashion Week this last week, I had a meeting with IMG in um, Paris. And the request to um, the request to support my dream and take it to the next level. So um, what I get now is um, a really good haircut from my best friend Summer Hans. Today we did a trim, so I could look like a supermodel. And I've got my pretentious bitch glasses, so I can turn out you know bad attitudes left and right. I'm kidding. Stay humble, no matter how far you go. I've been fighting for an agency for the last like. 10 years. I've gone to agents and been rejected for being too gay, for being too old, for not being this, that, or the other. And now I got represented by the largest agency. So I just signed with IMG Paris. The Paris office is going to be making history. And um, the reality of when I say making history is because this agency isn't playing around. They're not going to have me on their board just to float. They will push for me to be the next big supermodel drag queen since RuPaul. Tell her I said that. Um, and it's not a gender. It's a non-gender. Um, it, it's not placed. I can book as Miss Fame. Miss Fame is signed and Curtis is signed. It's all encompassing. Um, we're going to be working on my, um, my book and getting that going. And um, I'll probably be shooting a lot of editorial work and building that out, which is really what they're going to be um, focusing on is getting me my goals are still Vogue, so let's do Vogue, a full-on editorial specifically focused on Miss Fame. Let's make that dream come true. I've been able to make other dreams come true focusing and dedicating, and it came true. So, um, IMG, thank you so much for considering uh, to use somebody like me as an artist to represent the future of what modeling can look like. Because I'm a 31-year-old man who dresses as a woman and I got signed to the biggest agency. The reason I'm saying that is because I wasn't a girl discovered on the countryside at 16 or a boy who was just exceptionally tall and perfect. I've never been considered perfect. I've always struggled with this, that, and the other. From mental and emotional to um, just not having perfect skin or not having the perfect smile. Just not ha having human flaws. But one thing I stood for was I love glamour and I'm obsessed with beauty and creating it. I believe if you believe in yourself enough that you can make yourself the best you you can be it doesn't always mean to look beautiful on the outside it means that you have to project something from within yourself you have to want something great for yourself and that means that for me I focused on it because I wanted to feel validated from an agent to tell me that I was enough that I could be working with supermodels I aimed so unbelievably high and last week I was in Paris at the gold party working with the biggest supermodels on the planet that are the girls of today. And I was one of them. 
So now with this being said, there's a lot of other things that I know that I can't tell you about. So um, just know that there's a lot more I can't wait to share with you, but this is the beginning of something extremely big. And um, I'm so glad that you guys have supported my journey since I've left Drag Race and before Drag Race when it was all just YouTube. So thank you guys. Um, dream big. Keep pushing for your own destiny. It will get better. It's not always easy. And um, I love you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, let's see what we do now. We have a whole year of major creative. All right. Love you. Bye.